Yeah, so uh, if you come to Orlando and you just go to Disney World, Universal, and do the theme parks, you probably have no idea or don't even care that Orlando actually is a city and it has a downtown. And here is the downtown area. We're we'll taking a drive around today, see some of the main points of the downtown area. Uh, we'll go by some of the uh, most popular condo towers to live in down here. So if you're looking to actually live downtown here in Orlando and would like a condo, then yeah, check out this video and uh, let me know. Uh, my name is Alan Brown. I sell real estate for Cobalt Bankers. So certainly send you a list of what's available in the different towers down here so yep this is uh, kind of the beginning of the downtown area so this is the Kia Center formerly known as the Amway Center this is where the Orlando Magic NBA basketball team plays so I was just here the other night at an Orlando Magic game so tickets are usually fairly easy to come by just go to Ticketmaster or the Magic's website and you can probably pick up a ticket unless it's one of the popular games against the Lakers or the Celtics so anyway this is where the Magic play well this is right across the street from the Kia Center this eight and a half acre piece of property right here has been sitting vacant for quite some time well in 2025 there's going to be a brand new development going up here it's called uh, west court downtown so what this, that's going to be is uh this going to be a 260 room hotel 200 res, 270 residential units 125 square feet of retail space and uh, 100 or sorry, 1,100 parking spaces, 3,500 seat live entertainment space, and uh, this is going to be uh, really awesome to see it go up. So starting in 2025, it's probably going to take them two to three years to build it. So uh, be on the lookout for that if you're coming downtown. This is uh, Church Street. We're actually going to go down Church Street, and the Orlando City Soccer Stadium is down there. We'll check that out. Yeah, so this is the uh, Orlando City Soccer Stadium that play in the uh, MLS. This stadium was built probably just about seven, eight years ago. Uh, capacity is 25 and a half thousand people. Uh, they have a standing section uh, behind one of the goals that holds about seven, eight thousand people. And you get tickets there starting around $20 on most game days. So. Check that out. Seats start around 30, 35 bucks, depending on where you sit in the upper deck, lower deck. Obviously, if you're in the lower deck, they're gonna go up from there. So this is kind of the main entrance to the stadium here. There's other entrances into the stadium, but this is kind of the main one. There with the Lions logo, that is the electronic score board. So yeah, they have a shop right there. So yeah, if you're coming down here uh, and you're a tourist and you want to take in a soccer game, check out the schedule. Uh, I think it's well worth it. I come fairly regular to a game down here, so uh, come down and check it out. They have events before the game in this park area right here in front of me. So here we have a Camping World Stadium. This is a 64,000 seat stadium down here in downtown Orlando. You know, they've had, uh, well, they have college football games here. They held the Pro Bowl here now, and uh, they have soccer games here. I was here earlier in the uh, summer to see the USA national team play Brazil. Uh, they've had other international friendlies here also. So Camping World Stadium. It's about to undergo a $400 million renovation. Going to make some major updates and changes to it to bring it up to uh, you know 2020s uh, standard to hold other events all right hey this is Lake Eola right downtown here in Orlando so that colorful building over there is actually the Walt Disney uh, amphitheater seats like 750 people over there and uh, 
See this big glass tower right here in front of me? That's the VUE, V-U-E, condominium towers, one of the more popular towers to live in here in downtown Orlando. So if you want information on uh, what those tower, uh, what those condos sell for, just email me, text me, and I'll be more than happy to send you a list. So, oh, and you can ride a swan boat here on the lake if you wish. Yeah, you can rent them from right over there. I think it's about $15 for 20 minutes, something like that. So anyway, you can walk around this lake. There's a walking trail all the way around. It takes, oh, about 20 minutes. It's one mile if you just keep going. There's a couple of restaurants on the other side. So uh, bike, walk, either or. <laughs> hey, are you having fun? Help. All right, <laughs> keep pedaling. <laughs> As you can see, it's a little tough. You got to paddle hard. Of course, the other thing that uh, Lake Eola is popular for, people come down here and feed the swans. There's a lot of swans out here. Mainly white ones, but there's a few black ones thrown in. So, yeah, they're out here, just wild. There's a black one. Hey, this is Alan Brown, Cobalt Banker. But, so behind me is the Sanctuary Condominium Tower, built in 2005. It's approximately uh, 18 stories high. There's one, two, and three bedroom condos in there, right downtown here in Orlando. And uh, there's quite a few restaurants here. So well within walking distance of Lake Eola and all the main attractions here downtown. If you want more information on the Sanctuary Condo Tower, then uh, by all means reach out to me, text me, email me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Here's another popular condominium tower to live in downtown here in Orlando. The Star Tower, built in 2007. It's about 18 stories high. Mainly one and two bedrooms, condos in here. There's their own parking garage right there, walking distance to everywhere. So yeah, condos starting around in the high 200s and going up from there. And there's a pool. So uh, yeah, pretty nice place. Check it out. I'll put a description down below. I mean a link down below to all the condos I have on this video. So coming up on the left here is a. Uh, Gonna be City Hall, Orlando downtown City Hall. And uh, did you know that in 1991, in the opening scenes of the movie Lethal Weapon 3, they actually blew up the old Orlando City Hall. So if you go back and watch the uh, opening scenes from the uh, Lethal Weapon 3 movie, then you'll see them blow it up. They paid, Warner Brothers paid $50,000 to blow it up as part of the uh, movie so that they could build the new building. Yep, so there it is. There's the new city hall. So, if you like what you see on this video, uh, please check out some of my other videos on this channel. I have over 150 of them. If you like the video, please press like. Any comments, questions down below. And please uh, consider subscribing. I post new videos every week. So check out some more of this video. So here's another area downtown. This is all new in the last few years. Finished in August 22. Uh, this is called Creative Village. So Valencia College have their Walt Disney World Center for Col Culinary Arts and Hospitality there. There are you know, apartment buildings here. Uh, Electronic Arts right there have their headquarters there. Again, more apartments on this side. And there's this little two acre grassy park here in the middle. So yeah, this is right downtown also. This is all new here in just the last couple of years. So come down here and check it out. Creative Village. OK, 
Okay, where am I now? I'm under I-4, the interstate that runs right through the middle of downtown. So why am I bringing you here? Well, in 2025, look, I'm right across again from the Kia Center over there, for the Magic Play. But uh, starting in 2025, this 10 acres down here, all under this understate, uh, interstate, the city of Orlando is going to turn into like a park area. It's going to be uh, manscaped, lush green areas, walking trails. It's going to be uh, places to sit. It's going to be really awesome. I'll post some uh, pictures of what it's going to end renderings of what it's going to look like when it's complete. They said it's going to take about two years to complete. So it should be a pretty nice looking thing. And that goes right along with what's going to happen across the street over there, that new Westport development that I mentioned earlier in the video. So, yeah, this is going to go through a big transformation in the next couple of years. Well, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you're a subscriber, glad you came back. If you're new, then please consider subscribing. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you.